Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture today. I would like to discuss about uh, lunar dislocation. Sometimes even lunar blown, this can get dislocated. This lunar dislocation is of two types. One, it is called as lunar dislocation, where lunar dislocates anteriorly. And the second thing, perilunate dislocation. See, I cannot draw this uh, these bones perfectly, so I just thought I just uh, draw it in a, a different way. So, if you th think that this is the other carpal bones, this is the lunate. There are uh, okay. Think that these are the carpal bones, and this is lunate. Here, in lunate dislocation, only this lunate bone dislocates, whereas the other carpal bones are in position. Whereas in perilunate dislocation. See, it won't be like this anatomically. I'm just drawing it so that it becomes easier for us to just understand. In perilunate dislocation, all this part will dislocate, but lunate will be in its position. So that is the main difference. In lunate dislocation, this lunate bone will dislocate, whereas the perilunate, the other carpal bones are in position. Only this is the part which is dislocating. In perilunate dislocation, lunate bone is in position, but the surrounding tissue is dislocating. So this is about lunate and perilunate dislocation. How are you going to treat it? Any dislocation, you'll have to do a reduction. Here we do an open reduction. We do open reduction. Now, how are we going to, uh, what are the complications of this uh, lunate dislocation? The main complication is avascular necrosis of lunate. The complication is avascular necrosis of lunate. So this is about the lunate dislocation. So thank you guys for watching my lecture.